the proper settings to make this thing work. The control of the titanium time circuits in the modular capacitor for time displacement drive. Think. Dad, come on. I'm not going to play with Derby. And do you have any graphite left? Holy cow, you're right. We are going to be late. Um, there's graphite here somewhere. Just look for it on the bench. But don't touch the tent. Hey, dude, check this out. Carl, look at this old TV. What do you think Dad is doing with this? I don't know, but I wonder if he can even get anything to come up on this old thing. I thought they outlawed these things years ago. Let's see. Let's check out some of the channels. 19. Nope. 53. Jimmy! Duh! This is Ben. He's, you know, we're Cub Scouts. Why wouldn't you know? Put her there. Hey, we're Cub Scouts too, and this book it looks really old. What are you talking about? This is the newest edition! We used it in 1953! You don't know the latest edition when you see it. What kind of square Cub Scouts are you? Square? <laughs> what kind of insult is that? Yeah, this is your book. But this is our book. And this is the latest model. Pinewood Derby, what the, what the, what? What's that? You've never heard of the Pinewood Derby? It's like, build, it's like building racing mini cars out of pine blocks and down a track. Oh. Like Soapbox Derby? I wish we were old enough for Soapbox Derby, but only Boy Scouts can do that. How do you get into them? They're awful small. Are those just models? No, this is a little race. Super fun. You guys should show this to your code master. I bet you guys can get him to do it for you. All you would have to do is build a track for him. Cool beans. Bet we could. Can I take a car? Ooh, me too! Sure, you can take this one. I won with it last year. It was pretty awesome. Mm, mm, okay. Can I have my gold back? Sure. Can you send us back to 1953 by chance? Um, sure we can. Just get back in the um, yeah, tent.
dude, we just invented the Pinewood Derby. How cool is that? I know, dude. I wonder what would happen if we did that again. Oh man, that's Dan Beard. I can't believe it. He's one of the founders of Boy Scouts of America. Well, you guys look a little young to be Boy Scouts, but if you're a true Boy Scout, you should know that the Boy Scout handshakes with the left hand. Pleasure to meet you. Now, where am I? This place looks kind of strange to me. You are in the year of 2016. My dad invented a time machine and we brought you here. 2016, you said? Amazing! You guys say you're Boy Scouts? No, we're Cub Scouts. We're like Boy Scouts in training. We are learning how to do stuff that Boy Scouts do, like camping, hiking, and building fires. Oh, a scouting program for younger Scouts. Why didn't I think of that? That's great. Well, I had a friend of mine, Robert Baden Powell, and I think he would really be excited to learn about this. What did you call it? Cub Scouts? Yes, Cub Scouting. I think my dad has some an old handbook lying around here somewhere. Oh, amazing. Really amazing. I'll tell you, I just think this might be just the thing that I've been looking for. Ever since the Boy Scouts of America started, uh, we've been trying to come up with an idea to get young boys interested in scouting. We love it. Our dad is a leader and he plans all kinds of awesome stuff for us to do. Oh, well, what are some of your favorite things to do as Cub Scouts? Last summer, our den went on a caving trip. We got to see all kinds of cool formations and even got to camp for gems. Yeah, and we also get to go to summer camp and shoot bows and arrows and BB guns. It's awesome. The campfires with skits are the best. Well, it sounds like you boys have a lot of fun being in scouting. Tell me, can you recite the Scout Oath? On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country to, and to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Very good. It's a little different than what we say, but I like it very much. Well, I must be returning to my own time, but may I take this book with me? I'd really like to study it and talk to my fellow leaders about this program. Okay, just make sure that you don't let it fall in the wrong hands, like the, the Sports Almanac. Sports Almanac? Never mind, that's another story for another time. Okay, well, I must be off. Happy scouting! to get back there as soon as possible. I was just getting ready to finish my robot racer for my Cub Scout robot derby later today. 
I just have to add the titanium processing core and the turbo graphite to this guy and it will be ready. Hey, this is super cool. Is this what you guys race instead of final derby cars? Yeah, my grandpa George and Uncle Carl invented this kind of racing way back in 2021. Once they invented the first core processor for their Eagle project, they had help from their dad, who was a famous inventor. He invented time travel in 2016. Wait a minute, that, that's us. Oh yeah, and your sleeves have changed color too. You, you lost yours. I did. <gasps> it's magic. <laughs> hey, this is George and I'm Carl. And our dad invented time travel. That's how you got here in a time machine. I must be your grandpa and he must be your uncle. Okay, that's kind of creepy. I thought I must have stepped into a time puddle and got sucked up here by accident. A time, time puddle. puddle? Yeah, the time puddles. There are not very many of them left lying around, but the International Time Agency outlawed time travel in 2019 because of all the time puddles that are starting showing up. Dinosaurs? started just appearing to crowded subways and stuff, eating people and destroying cities. No way! Yes way! The last draw was when Justin Bieber was eaten by a T-Rex that just showed up in his backyard while he was laying next to his pool. Justin Bieber was loved so much by everyone for being such a great artist that the president from the International Time Agency to investigate his death. Dude, Justin Bieber sucks. Yeah, like really bad. Everyone hates him. Really, that's not what we are, are taught in history class. We are told that he was loved by everyone and that the nation went into a six-year period of mourning when he died. Dude, that sounds like a horrible alternate timeline. Carl, do you think we changed time? Mm, sounds like it. We better get him back to his own time period before anything else is done. Don't you guys want to stop this little beaver from getting eaten by a T-Rex? No. No, he sucks anyway. Dang it! Okay, get back in the tent and just go before anything else happens. Here's your eraser. Mm. He totally <laughs> broke it. He totally. I told him I not to mess with it. I was gonna give you this. Give me it! Give me it! It's astounding, time is fleeting, madness takes its toll, but listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips. You bring your knees to your tight. And it's the bell that's lost. It really does an insane game. Let's do the time walk again. Let's do the time walk again. It's a dream. Free me so you can't see me. No, not at all. In another dimension with voyeuristic intention. 
well secluded I see all With a bit of a mind flip You're into the time slip And nothing can ever be the same You're spaced out on sensation Like you're under sensation 